Hello everyone and welcome back. Our today's topic is algebra. Friends, as you know, algebra is one of the very important topic for all kind of government competitive exams. And friends, if you are preparing for any central government exams like SSC, Railway and UPSC CDS, then algebra is going to play a very important role. Without algebra, friends, it's very difficult to crack any central government exams. So friends, let us start with the question number one. And all questions, whatever I am going to discuss today has been already asked in the SSC exam. And that is what we are going to discuss today. So friends, if x is equals to a plus 1 by a, so if x is equals to 1 plus uh, a plus 1 by a and y is equals to a minus 1 by a. In that case, friends, you have to calculate the value of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 minus 2x square yx y square. Now, friends, so there are two things which you can do. So, friends, x to the power 4 means you what you can do is a plus a plus 1 by a to the power 4 plus a minus 1 by a to the power 4. So, friends, this will become very much lengthy. This will become very much lengthy, friends. You won't be able to find the answer within two minutes. Now, friends, what I am telling you. So, suppose the value of a is equals to 1. So, friends, x will become what? So, 1 plus 1 is nothing but 2. And y will become what? 1 minus 1 will be equal to 0. Now, friends, whatever term with y is there, that you can directly cancel it. So, this will become 0 and this will again become 0. So, only you need to calculate x to the power 4 and x is what 2 so 2 to the power 4 will be nothing but 16 so friends this is how using the shortcut method using the concept you are going to solve the problem in the exam otherwise friends you will be taking two three minutes for one simple question friends moving towards question number two so question number two is a good question so friends if 4x square minus 12x plus k is a perfect square is a perfect square Friends, what is the meaning of perfect square? So, friends, you see 4 is a perfect square because 4 will be nothing but 2 square. 4 will be nothing but equal to 2 square. So, this will be called as perfect square. Now, friends, so this equation, if you see, you will feel that either it is a minus b whole square or it is a plus b whole square. Now, friends, here it is minus. So, definitely it will be somewhat a minus b whole square. Now, let us try to bring this equation in this format so 4x square minus 12x and plus k and then we will try to find out friends the value of k now friends a minus b square will be nothing but a square minus 2ab plus b square so friends at the place of a it will be what 2x so 2x square will give you 4x square minus 2 okay now friends your 2ab is equals to what 2ab is equals to 12x so friends, a already we have got. A is what? 2x. So 2 into 2x into b will be equal to 12x. Now 4x will divide this by 3 times. So b will be nothing but equal to 3. Now we got the value of b is equal to 3. So friends, here it will become 2x square minus 12x and plus b. b is nothing but 3. So friends, here b square. So 3 square will be nothing but 9. So my equation will be 2x square minus 12x plus 9 and friends now it became now friends it became a minus b whole square that means now it is a perfect square that means now it is a perfect square and friends if it is a perfect square then you have to tell the value of k so friends you can see the value of k is nothing but the value of k is nothing but 9 that means option b will become the correct answer for the question number two so when this is how we are going to solve the problem of algebra with the concepts and in less amount of time friend this kind of problems will be repeated many a times in your exam okay so you can find this kind of problems has been repeated many a times in your ssc examination now friends moving towards question number three now friends question number three x plus y is equal to root 3 and x minus y is equal to root 2 then the value of 8xy into x square plus y square now friends so basically we have to calculate this value so friends all these problems whatever we are doing as i told friends already has been asked in the ssc examination and friends you should have done this before you go for the examination otherwise friends in exam it will be very difficult for you to calculate it okay now so friends what we will do so x plus y whole square 
plus x minus y whole square will be equal to what? So, friends, you can see. So, x square plus y square plus 2xy and here it will become x square plus y square minus 2xy. So, this and this will get cancelled. So, 2x square plus y square. Okay. Now, this is my first equation. Second, friends, what I will do? I will subtract it now. x plus y whole square minus x minus y whole square. So, x square plus y square plus 2xy and this will become minus x square. Okay. And then minus y square and it will become plus 2xy. And this will become equal to, this will become equal to friends what x and x cancel, y and y cancel. So, 4xy that is nothing but equation 2. Now, friends what we need to calculate. So, basically if you multiply 1 and 2, if you multiply 1 and 2 that means 4 into 2, 8xy into x square plus y square. So, we need to calculate this and this and then we have to multiply it. So, x plus y, x plus y is what root 3. So, root 3 square plus x minus y. So, root 2, root 2 square, okay, multiplication, x plus y square. So, root 3 square minus root 2 square, okay, these two we have to multiply, right friends. Now, so this will be 3 plus 2, 5 into 3 minus 2, root 3 square will be 3 and 3 plus 2, okay, root 2 square will be 2 and root 3 square will be 3 minus 2. Now, 5 into 1, 5 into 1 will be 5. So, friends, option C will be the correct answer for the question number 3, okay. So, the answer for this particular question will be 5. So, friends, this kind of problem will be asked and you need to be very careful while doing the problem. So, all these concepts, friends, have to be there in your mind before you go for the exam. Otherwise, it's very difficult to get all these concepts in mind when you are writing the examination. So, friends, I hope all the three questions are clear to you. Thanks a lot, friends, for watching the video.